What's up guys, in this episode I go over the Fort and Tempest. Stay tuned. What is up everyone? It's your boy Luis Torres and today I am going over the Fort and Tempest uh, which is their new pedal uh, but <laughs> I hate to say it but it's basically a clone just like all their other pedals of something else but I actually have the original so this my friends is the VFE Dragon so this pedal has drive, level, high pass filter and low pass filter and let's show you what that looks like with the side pyramid on the, on there also for the high and the low pass and then here is the Fort and Tempest with a level drive and the high and low pass filter along with the same pyramid uh, on there so the difference is that nothing there isn't a difference uh actually there is so the VFE uh, Dragon actually has a toggle in the middle that you can go plus 6 dB and the other option is plus 12 dB. So when I AB'd these two uh, using this contraption by uh, Tony Peppers and Peppers Pedals, so it's literally I plug one pedal on one side, plug the other pedal on the other, and I toggle between them so I can hear the difference and there isn't a difference when the settings are marked exactly the same. That being said, I don't know who these guys are in the band Architects. I'm in lovely New York. They're somewhere in the UK, but nobody could say that Architects went ahead and were the Architects, pun intended, Architects in creating this pedal because it is the VFE Dragon. But here's the catch that I've been basically telling everyone is that VFE no longer exists. The owner, Peter, ended up wrapping up, you know, his company, his business, and ended up having a fire sale where if you were a VFE fan, you can go ahead and buy lots of their circuit boards uh, for their pedals. And that was it. He closed shop and left. Uh, so this pedal, you can't really find anymore unless you end up paying an arm and leg for it, which you don't have to do because that's where the Tempest comes into play because this is my all-time favorite overdrive pedal, period. And they don't make it anymore. So I'm glad someone stepped in and created something along the lines uh, of my favorite overdrive. So let's toss this guy and, which I won't because it was expensive. So I'll actually put it on the side, nice and soft. So it has a smooth landing. Um, so I'm going to use this Tempest using my Mesa uh, triple rectifier and it's literally rectifier uh, or I'm, a, I'm, I'm actually going to be using my 2014 Paul Reed Smith custom 22. This one has the voodoo custom pickup on the bridge, which is actually the Voorhees. It is the prototype of the Voorhees uh, bridge pickup. Uh, so it's going to go guitar into the Tempest out to the uh, Mesa rectifier and comes out to my Mesa 412 cabinet with Celestion V30s and mic and you can see them right there. I'm just using that mic right there. So for some reason, people have been asking, hey, what cabinet do you use? Bro, are you serious? Every episode, it, my Mesa, uh, Mesa, Mesa, you know, you end up having guys like 
truck driver Sean saying, it's not Mesa, Lewis. It's Mesa. A Mesa is a table in Spanish. Uh, so I'm guilty of, uh, of just that, of make of Spanishizing uh, the company name. So, as usual, I'm going to live this mofo. So everything is literally, uh, you know what, let me, I'm going to, the, I'm going to lower the drive down to zero, but everything else is just going to be smack in the middle. I'll start off with the rectifier tone and how I have it set, and then I'll turn this guy on. But, you know, again, like I said, if you have a VFE Dragon, you don't need it. But where it's 2022, I feel like if there's a great pedal, eventually everyone jumps on board and creates some variant, some version of it. You know, the... The Fortin Zool is basically the noise gate that's in the Marshall um, JCM 800 KK, the Kerry King. The Grind and the 33 are basically the uh, Mike's interpretation of the TC Electronics uh, integrated preamp pedals. So everything is just, you know, ah, it's just more. You want a new overdrive? You got this one. These guys didn't design it. They were just like, hey, I like that pedal. Can you make it? Done. D got it. Um, and then, of course, one of my buddies who's an attorney said, the issue with circuits is you can't trademark them because it's a circuit. So if you create a circuit and I buy your pedal, I could basically duplicate it because wah, wah, that's just the law. So it is what it is. Uh, but again, super great pedals, and I'll plug it in right now. So I'll have it turned off at first, and the way the Tempest is, uh, I, I'll just say voiced. So the Dragon, again, has a toggle switch. You can either be plus 6 dBs or plus 12 dB. And to my ears, again, comparing the two side by side with the same exact uh, settings. And I think I used five completely different settings. But again, they match. I toggled and you couldn't tell the difference between the two pedals. Um, so I always have my VFE Dragon set to plus 12 dB. So without being... A, um, a pedal builder or someone that can easily look at, at a schematic and understand what's going on. I have to believe, as, again, this is just based on what I hear, uh, the Tempest is internally set to 12 dB uh, if it actually had a toggle. So let's just call it that. But before we start, what's up, what's up? Yo, my Mexicanos! Yo, it is Cinco de Mayo. So we are going to celebrate a hair. So here's my Jose Cuervo classic margarita mix. Gotta leave some room for some patrón. Maybe take a swig. Dude, that's it. Polished it out. Salud, mi amigos. Yo, again, happy. <laughs> this is so strong now. Ah. Yo, again, feliz Cinco de Mayo. Oh, man. Oh, that's way too strong. All right. Ugh. <clears throat> going wireless here wireless wireless all right i'm gonna switch um mics but i must grab my pick which is right here all right so again <clears throat> i'm gonna be doing a <laughs> pedal off then pedal on and hopefully it sounds good because i don't know if I may be a little too intoxicated by the time I get to the to the end and then listen to it played back again and uh, yeah 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 the life of the life of a YouTuber
right, guys, so there you have it. And again, let me grab this pedal. And uh, where is the other one? Is right here. Um, but again, listen, you know, it's hard to sit back and say, I'm going to create a new overdrive and literally create a new overdrive. So lots of times, you know, overdrives are just interpretations of other older overdrives and they just did a few things to it, you know, uh, take a little lipstick, put it over here, a little new nail polish and that's it. You don't have a peg anymore. Now you have a sexy vixen by your side. So again, you know, the best thing about this uh, Fortin Tempest is the fact that it is literally my VFE Dragon uh, down to nearly the graphics for the high pass filters and the low pass filter. You see the little pyramid kind of shape thing. And that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, I, I th again, this is my all time favorite overdrive pedal. My buddy Laurent was the first one to where is it <clears throat> so my buddy Laurent who's an absolutely sick guitarist out in Queens he's the reason I actually have Soldano amps but more importantly he's the guy that first told me about VFE pedals and VFE had already closed shop the first time around so these pedals were nearly impossible to find and I ended up he actually didn't even want to tell me he basically told me, oh, reach out to your buddy out in Long Island. Uh, and that is Christian Milano. And he's like, bro, I have one. I'll send it to you for you to use. Fell in love with it. This pedal is an absolute monster. Uh, and then soon after learned that VFE created a similar pedal to the standout, which is my all-time favorite boost. And they actually made a pedal, which is an overdrive. So it's basically... I like to think it's exactly the standout with a gain stage in there. Uh, and then, of course, here is the Fort and Tempest. The problem, like I said, is that VFE doesn't exist anymore. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if you liked Saturn and you want another Saturn, but Saturn no longer exists, and the closest thing is a Tesla, then you're going to get a Tesla. This is a Tesla. Because, unfortunately, the old company doesn't me doesn't make the Saturn anymore. So, and you know, that's just, you know, that's, you know, that is just the scenario that just popped in my mind. No one should ever be driving a Saturn at this day, at this day and age. Um, but if you're looking for what is really my favorite overdrive pedal, uh, grab yourself a Fort and Tempest. You're going to absolutely love it. Again, this thing is an absolute monster. Uh, and huge shout out to my buddy Laurent. Listen, there aren't very many guitarists that I will buy something sight unseen um, or even bother going to YouTube. Uh, Christian Milano is one of them. And Laurent is one of the other guys who, if he says, yo, just go online and buy this pedal right now, or hey, this pedal is available. You need to grab it now. I don't even think I just go in and just get it just because I know that they love their tone and, uh, and he was on point with the Tempest. So Laurent, you are the man. Uh, and, and yeah, get it and you're going to love it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And as usual, this guy will talk to you soon.